looks amazing on the radio, but you know, I always say I've got a good face for radio, but uh, you're just beautiful all around. Oh, on radio, on I TV, in person. Uh, the way back playback one. Oh my God, that was embarrassing. So we got uh, Rosette here live on Z1035 with Tony Monaco. And I put up a picture today of you at the 2006 Summer Rush, which I think is the last time that you and I saw each other. Yes. Uh, and at that time, uh, Italy had just won the World Cup. Yep. So you had this big, massive gathering of 15,000 people. And there were one or two Italians in the audience that day. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to give my Italian jersey to Rosette. And she's going to go on stage. And she's going to get a big pop. And everybody's going to go nuts and crazy. And what happened? They did. Everyone went nuts and crazy. Yes. They did. They were loving you big time. Um, but that was the last time I ever saw my shirt. So to this day, I always ask, Rosette, whatever happened to my shirt? And I think it was like one of your dancers that took off with it. I think to take off. That, that, that's the story and we're sticking to it. But I, I yeah. know that. And for a while, we tried to track it down through some contacts and connections. Uh, I got my uh, contacts at the Toronto Police even involved in it. And uh, you know what? It, it should have been like one of those things. You ever see those dollar bills where yeah. they say track this bill and, you know, yeah. go on the website? I can buy you a new one. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's my claim to fame. Talking about uh, Rosette wearing oh my gosh. Italian jersey. And I'm just happy. And somebody She's is wearing that shirt right now and they're happy with it. <laughs> I'm sure my dancers is. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, you know, I mean, for from the, from the days of 2006 and even prior to that, I mean, I guess you first started getting into the uh, business when you first did uh, Pop Stars, correct? Yeah, right? Yeah. You know, that's the first that we kind of started hearing. And mm-hmm. at the time, you didn't win that contest. I but didn't want to win. But you didn't want to win it, right? Where's the winner now? Yeah, who, who even won Pop Stars? But <laughs> I don't they don't remember that, but we all know who Rosette is, right? All right, so from that uh, you know time period where here on Z1035 we were playing songs like uh, Delirious, There Was One Wish, uh, Crushed. Uh-oh, I'm trying to go through the whole list of them because there's you know a lot them of them. All. I do, as a matter of fact, but then you know you kind of got away from the whole pop sound yeah. and evolved into the EDM sound. So yeah. tell me about that transition for you. Um, I just wanted to do something more that related to me. Like, I'm a dancer, so Fire. We did Fire. We just put it out on YouTube. And yeah. Then, you know, Oh, you guys supported me? Well, was it the conversation that you and I had? I said, you got to do a dance song. Yes, you did. you got to move away from Pop Urban yes, and do dance. Did. I think it was that combo, though, right? I think it was all because of you, Tony. I, I don't want to take all the credit, but maybe like, you know, like 3% of I would it. I'd say 50%. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. you, you talked about uh, doing Fire. Uh, you did a track with uh, Ian Carey, yeah. Ian Carey and Timbaland, and thank you for supporting all my music. And you got a hot new one right now with Cardi. Uh, right. How did you get involved with Cardi? I've known Cardi for some time now, um, uh, you know, three mutual friends and stuff. He's awesome. So right. We just ended up doing a song together, I Want to Fly. And we brought it back to pop, pop EDM. I like it. That, that's the way it yeah. should be, you know. It uh, has that. not t- a feature, it's my own thing. I like that. So uh, we're going to uh, check out the track here on Z1035 and come back and chat a little bit more with Rosette. Awesome. We're back here on Z1035 and we're talking food. I, I have some food in the back over there. Did you I notice know. that? Yes. Yeah. Or, not uh, Italian, though. No, it's not, but uh, we can do Italian later on if you're sticking yes, around town. But uh, for now, it's some uh, good food that uh, Jack Astor's uh, dropped off. So thank you very much. And uh, feel free to indulge in those. Because I know uh, Adrian in the background over there. If we can get him on camera over there. Adrian Strong. Wearing the uh, Rob the Ford shirt there. The official Blue Toronto shirt. He's, um, he, he's going to get in there on sandwiches there. <laughs> What are your favorite foods? You love Italian? I love Italian. <laughs> I like all authentic, you know, um, I don't know, Thai food, Asian food, anything that is not the keg or mouth. Really? So you like don't like the... those types of brand? You like more of kind of like specialty I stuff? I like specialty. I yeah. like, you know, yeah, Asian fusion and Thai food and Indian food and anything that is like that. I like tasty food. That's what I like. All right, my cat of girl. Yeah, and of course, uh, some of the uh, tracks that you've been doing on uh, Z1035, some of the stuff that we have been playing, uh, has just blown up big time. And you've worked with uh, various producers, including our very own DJ Danny D. Yeah, um, you dropped some names earlier, uh, including uh, Sun Lovers. Sun Lovers. Uh, Ian Carey. Ian Carey uh, Timbo, Timbo, yeah. Uh, who is somebody, maybe a DJ producer, that you want to link up with and do some future tracks with? Calvin Harris. Yeah. Calvin Harris, I want to work with Calvin Go right Harris. to the top, the man right that made top. $46 million yes. this past year. Hey, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Calvin Harris, I want to work with Bruno Mars. That'd be nice to work with him. Justin Bieber. And, and, oh, yeah, you want to do a track I with Justin? I do. I want to even go on a date with him. Wow. Justin, hook it up. Even after his uh, latest thing in Brazil and the camera oh on God, him? I'm not keeping up with him. <laughs> <laughs> you just want back. some controversy, don't you? Yes, I But, do. but that, that's the kind of person you are sometimes, right? I mean, I heard you did a cover of uh, Girl Gone Wild. Does that kind of explain you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I heard 100%. the track. You, you did the Madonna I, song, I actually, and I'm like, hey. I actually demoed it for her. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Did she like it? She did. That's why she took it. Wow. So, yeah. so you do that for a lot of people because, uh, you know, I posted something, and I see it on your Facebook page. You wrote a song, which happens to be track seven on an album that comes out December 3rd. Tell me about that. Uh, yeah, I wrote it with uh, my good friend Jensen Bond. Uh, we co-wrote it. 
Jensen was one of the guys that worked with uh, Armin Van Buren and yeah, Trevor Guthrie, he did right? With Trevor Guthrie, yes. Yeah, so he's written a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's great, great. Been so let's tell everybody what's coming out December third and track number seven on that CD. Who's that from? Till it's gone, written co-written by Jensen and I, and um, obviously Brittany. And- People, so it'll be good. There you go. Brittany Spears. Now, I had a chance to meet with her. Is it just one of those collabos um, with Jensen at this time? But you no, didn't get I to meet her. I didn't get to meet her, but I, I think I will. Hopefully, it, hopefully it becomes a huge song. How about we go to Vegas and we'll meet her? Why we'll, don't we? Yeah, I we'll, would love we'll hug to her. her. I think she's amazing. Monaco Rosette invading yeah. Vegas, baby Vegas. Like maybe I can open up with her and just do I Want to Fly before she comes I out and does her song. <laughs> You've had a chance to uh, open up for uh, some great artists. Uh, yes, I have. Who, who's been like the the peak, the pinnacle that uh, you have opened up for at this point? Rihanna. Yeah. Uh, remember, I remember? You got to do a song with her. I would love to do it. I think she's f-ing amazing. <laughs> Bleep. <laughs> she's amazing. I Absolutely. love her. Uh, yeah, the power of radio, the way I had the bleep there. Okay, right, good. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Right. Uh, other than Rihanna, who else? Um, I've opened up for uh, Akon. Mm. And I've opened up for... Oh, my God. I don't even remember. I'm blanking out. Um, I did Daydream Festival in Belgium. Okay. I did the whole festival. We did the music and the anthem and all that kind of stuff. So. Is this something you'd like to get? Because there's so many different uh, EDM dance music festivals out there right now. Yeah. Is this something that you'd like to get involved with? We've got, uh, you know, the Velve Music yes. Festival, Digital yes. Dreams. Rosette should be a part of that lineup. I want to be a part of all of those lineups. Maybe do a little DJ. You ever thought of DJing at all? I just want to sing. You're, you're a great I singer. Did, you're I'm a dancer. To DJ. Yeah. I need to DJ. Yeah. Why I not? DJ. I want to be Craig David. You know it. Craig David's awesome. He is amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the way I look at it, if you know Paris Hilton can go on tour and DJ, why can't you? Why can't anybody? I mean, actually, that's true. <laughs> Uh, any inspiring, motivating words for everybody listening here on Z1035? I've been doing this for so long. I'm just going to say don't give up and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Thank you so much, Rosette, for dropping by. Thank you.